Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and yes we are back at the nightmare. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumperman Tech. We're working on a four pipe fan coil unit. Provides heating and cooling all year round via water. Works off the chiller. One of these pipes clearly bursted and it's actually been leaking for a bit over two months now. They wanted to wait until temperatures rise so they can shut it down because it's the hot water that shut down and they wanted to provide heat. Today is not too cold, not too warm. So we figured this would be a good chance to try to tackle this. This is our third visit here. The first time we weren't able to shut the water down. The engineer in the building tried to shut all the valves he could. Water would not stop, so we couldn't make the repair. We tried to do a little something temporary, put like a gasket around the leak. It held for a little bit, stopped, and then started leaking again. Next time we came, we tried to shut it down again, and we were unable to do so. So I ended up putting this pan in, and instead of it letting, letting it drain all over the floor and everywhere here, it can now go and drain into the floor. Problem is, looks like this leak got worse, and now again, there's just water spilling everywhere. A ton of bacteria here. It's really gross. So we're gonna try to do what we can. We busted down this wall last time, opened it up to see if we can possibly get a little bit of access in there. It's a very difficult spot. Very difficult spot. It's leaking. They have Victolic T's. There's Victolic couplings here. You see the little red couplings. So it's leaking at the threaded part. The pipe inside, the steel pipe, just or iron, I think it might be iron or steel one of those black pipe basically is just deteriorated eaten up and yeah started to leak we're gonna try to attempt to do this they shut down the chiller downstairs which provides heating and cooling and it's an absorption chiller they shut it down close the valves and we're gonna let this thing leak out start draining this unit all right we got this hose connected to this unit and you can see it draining there you can see the water steaming a bit Look at all the build up here, my gosh. It's gonna be nasty to get up there. So I might have slowed down a little bit. I wanna climb up there and get a peek to see. Hopefully no new leaks have occurred. Water everywhere. There's barely any space to walk through here. And you gotta crouch to go through there. I don't know why they even built the wall there. Oh, it looks nasty. All right. Well, that's not good. But what's that at this point? Anyways, from here, we gotta climb up here and get on top of the unit and go all the way through there to get any sort of access to get to those pipes. All right, so I wouldn't even be able to fit through here. It's about the length of my arm, my forearm. Let's actually open this so I could squeeze through here. I gotta get a little ladder in there, but I'm gonna climb up for now. All right. Got a mask on, I got gloves. Squeeze through here backwards. What a mess. All right. Gotta get to it through here. Luckily, this is not wet at the moment. Yeah, it seems to be the same leak. It's just pouring from a different spot. Ooh, that's a tight spot. So this is the main header coming through. see that so we have copper have a brass valve and then 
this nipple here is completely destroyed. I'm just really hoping I can get that off and I'll rebuild right from that thread. I'm really hoping not, ha I hope I don't have to take off that Victolic T. This is three inch pipe going up to an inch and a half. I'm thinking to rebuild it from there to about here. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. It's basically a similar setup to this. We have a main pipe. This one got a Victolic T and then it tees off through here. We got this thread. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna try to cut the pipe and spin it off. The issue that it's leaking right at the thread where it goes into this Victolic T. So let's let this thing drain out. And hopefully, hopefully we can do this. Not looking forward to this. At least I can be in here. But this looks like the only place we're gonna get in there. I think is there's a pipe in between and this elbow is in the way. It's gonna be very difficult to get any sort of pipe wrench in there. And there's a good chance this pipe will just break. It just, it's so rusted, it's so bad. It's like you look at this thing wrong and it's gonna leak. All right, these are the two hot water pipes, supply and return. We got one hose connected here, draining. And we have another one there draining and unfortunately it's this valve itself see if you close the valve it stops i try to tighten the nut here but this thing is done a lot of water coming out of there right now follow this i got two hoses coming into here A lot of water coming out of there. So let's give it a chance. So much water that it's overflowing the drain. We're gonna have to close down on some of those valves and drain this even slower. Still got constant water flow over there from those two hoses we ran. It seems to have slowed down a bit here. Looks like most of it is pretty much getting caught in this pan now. But man, this is not good seriously not good it's been an hour already that is not good this is just constantly flowing not a fan of that let me see something water is still warm let's give it a chance there's the chiller they got everything off right here. This is an absorption chiller. It does heating and cooling. They got two of them. They shut that down. They shut down the pumps. Here we have a bunch of valves that are closed. Heating water. Got that valve closed. Got this valve closed. Same setup on the other side. Got this big valve closed. And look. No more water coming out of here. This is in the basement. But we're on, up on the first floor mezzanine and there's still a bunch of water flowing, which seems a bit strange to be honest with you. Anyways, I'll let that be. We'll do a little bit of prep work while we wait. It's already been hour and 20 minutes, maybe hour and a half. But anyways, I have a dielectric fitting here that's going to be between the Victolic fitting and brass and copper. So let's prep this a bit. I'm going to use Blue Monster PTFE thread tape to put it on the thread. And then after I do that, I'm going to use PTFE paste on top of the thread. Connect my female pipe adapter right and tighten it down this end will go to the existing piping on the victolic fitting and then we're going to build up from there and press all our fittings and hopefully this helps this is specifically a dielectric lip nipple and this is used when you are combining the similar metals
we got our tape nicely ap applied let's go ahead and put some paste on it's definitely gonna help with any leaks personally i like to do a bit of both for bigger pipes i feel like this is the best way to go definitely helps next i'm gonna spin this on and pretty much just prep as much as i can until i get into that space let's go like this and let's tighten down this nipple Here's what that looks like for now and we got that ready to go pretty much i'm hoping to get that old nipple off on the existing piping put a little bit of ptfp ptfe paste on top of that thread and hopefully spin that on and build it up from there if only i can get to that fitting we should be all right and the only thing really is dealing with the space that we're in hopefully i can get a pipe wrench in there all right guys looks like it actually really stopped stopped over there yeah looks like the water stopped over here as well i actually turned off the water excuse me i turned i opened the water for the supply and return for this unit that's nearby you can see the water stains this stopped this stopped and then we got another unit here where the water you can clearly see is filthy stop draining there bypasses are open got zero pressure i think we're ready to go guys yeah this is how annoying it is to get in here gotta go through that little door crawl under this duct then go through here i mean just to give you guys a reference of how big this door is Look at my arm so it's a hobbit's entrance <laughs> got christian over there vacuuming up some of that water so it's time to gather up some of my tools and let's climb up there all right guys it actually stopped and working in here is kind of crazy last time the first time i was able to put some rubber gasket and tie some pipe straps <laughs> around around here squeeze on it and that's what stopped it but clearly this thing is done look how rusted this is and that's the difference with using copper and also not using dielectric fittings when using dissimilar uh, metals let's go ahead and start taking some of this off let's see if i can get to the threads of this victoric coupling and rebuild from here to here that that would be ideal Let's get these off. And my thing is also, where am I gonna get leverage to use a pipe wrench? That's the thing. So we gotta set this up properly. I might have to spin it somehow. I think the best bet is I have to squeeze through this little tiny area, which is crazy. There's not much leverage there. So I'm gonna start taking this off, but before I start, I want to get a pipe wrench in there and see where I can get this to go because that's honestly a problem. Man, I think it was eating up. Oh man. It's leaking right here. I have the smallest bit of leverage and it's only in a specific spot right here and I'm even hitting this beam on this side and this pipe is in my way this is a sprinkler pipe this one right here oh man that's so sketchy and there's nowhere I get that to hold 
not really. These pipes are in my way too. You know, before I cut this, you know, I really gotta make sure I'm able to even do anything. This is unbelievable. I'm wondering if I could get this out of my way, would I be able to really get in there a bit better? I don't have the fittings for this now. I kind of want to open this up, make a little bit more space. Let's see if there's anything I could do. See, I don't have another valve or fittings for this. But I'm not cutting this without really being able to get in there. Because that would be a huge issue. Because if I can get this out of my way, I would have leverage through here to kind of get in there. Also, this threaded rod supporting this pipe is in my way. Oh boy, this is a nightmare, guys. Seriously. I also bought a special pipe cutter for this job. This is the Wheeler Rex, model number 4992, close quarters tubing cutter. So I would actually be able to get a nice precise cut here. And this goes from quarter inch to two inch and three eighths, which is pretty serious. Let's get this thing open. Oh man, worst comes to worst worst, I would have to cut this up, cut it from here and remove this thing to be able to fit something in here. And that could potentially be a problem. I might be able to get it. I don't know how much leverage I'll be able to get in strength, but I should be able to somehow spin this piece onto here with the tiny little bit of leverage I have. If not, like I said, I gotta cut this. And uh, I do have I believe I actually have some fittings. I might be able to make this work. But I don't have a dielectric fitting. But either way, we gotta get this done. This thing's been leaking for a very, very long time. I sanded down a little bit over here. Look, you see how this fits on this? Be able to get in there. That is absolutely awesome. Oh, man, this is nerve wracking. Yep, I should be able to get in there. I'm trying my best. I'm hoping we don't gotta change that fitting in there. That would be another nightmare. I'm gonna go for it. Let's see what happens. Let's cut this. I'm just worried about taking off that thread. If I could get to the, the threads on that, that would be perfect. All right, this pipe is officially cut. Got a little bit of leverage. It's all about getting that nipple off, honestly. Getting a little bit of leverage to hopefully tighten down the new one. That's the main thing. Let's see if this does anything. Oh, it's coming off. Oh, this valve barely even closes. Now it's time to get that thing out. Um, all right, I'm gonna be able to get this valve off, which is good. Just hoping I can get the rest off. Let's see if we get this handle off. Make a little bit of space there. Let's see what happens there. It's all about that nipple. I was hoping maybe I could get it spin the valve off and the nipple comes off with it i got leverage just hope we could get anything done incredible this thing is hitting i can kind of maybe move it to the side a little oh man I could push it just a bit okay I got the ball valve off with that this is the main thing right here getting this thing off
wondering if I could get any sort of leverage through here, even at an angle. I don't know if that's gonna work. This is difficult, guys. It's real di I just can't get a good angle. That's the problem. So we got my torch. I might need to heat that up to get any bit of leverage. Got to lay down on this. Try to fight this a little. budge i need to break it out a little i'm gonna try to heat it up if not we might have to break this off all right i got the smoke alarms off got my torch coming out through there i'm hoping i can heat it up a little bit just to loosen it up a little and hopefully it'll come out another thing is i don't want to melt i don't want to melt the gasket on this piece but we got to do what we got to do What's up? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Trying, I'm trying. Right. Trying to get the nipple off right now. Very difficult. Get what? Trying to get the nipple off of this piece. Yeah. Don't got much space for my pipe wrench. I just heated it up with a torch to try to get it out. Yeah, pretty much. For real, everything's closed. Who knows what's going on? I know. All right, I'll keep you updated. Huh? Horrible. I'm sure. It's horrible here. Oh, I loosened it up. I got you, man. I'll keep you updated. I got something coming off. That's what's up. Just don't have the leverage to turn this. It loosened up a bit. Let me get the smaller wrench in here. Let's see if I could even spin this thing now. Come on. It loosened up. I'll be here forever with this position, but I think it's gonna come off. We go come on come off can't get, can't get a straight there we go come on come on look at that oh, the power of heat let's hoping the threads are good that piece and we'll be in business we will be in business it's a bit hot oh sh oh that's a beautiful thing guys that is a beautiful thing nice 
Ooh, man, we're gonna celebrate if we get this one. I wanna leave it just like that. I ain't taking that thing off for nothing. <laughs> All right, the threads look pretty decent on that. As far as on here, which side did I just take off? This bottom piece. Yep, the hole is right here. I'll take a picture of that so you guys can see. Also threads in there. I got this special threading tool, so we're gonna actually gonna get it in there and clean up the threads. Make sure everything is good. It's gonna go right in there. Now we're gonna take like an adjustable or something. So go a little deeper in there. And then pull it out and we should have clean threads in there. And we should be able to, we should be able to get this to work. <sighs> oh man. Just getting that piece off took a lot of pressure off of me. So we're gonna tighten it in there. And then we're gonna pull it out. Let's see what that did to the threads. We don't gotta go too crazy. That should be enough. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, looks like it went all the way through. Awesome. That right, looks pretty decent. Just gonna clean up around here a little bit. Those threads look. Decent on the bottom, it ain't the greatest, but I think we should make it. It's not that bad, it's not bad. All right, I'm just gonna get this in here, see how I'm gonna dry fit it. I might not be able to get my press tool in here, so I kinda wanna just get it in place, tiny bit. That's gonna go down a little more. This valve. Not gonna go with anything threaded it's really not enough space just sand that down a little see if i'm gonna keep that there or bring it down i might be able to just fit some pipe right in here because we got a little bit of leverage to go up and then we'll squeeze it down we'll see if not i also got a no slip coupling which should do it. So we're just gonna figure out where is gonna be the best place for me to get the press tool and so I could actually spin this on. So let's figure something out. You can already see that my press tool is not gonna fit on this angle. I have nowhere to put it here. So we're gonna have to get a piece of pipe in here, press that and then spin it on and then figure out the rest. Process to do this is very important right now. This part is sanded down this is a rigid deburring tool for inner and outer reamer. So we want to make sure our fittings are nice and deburred. Every cut that we make in and out. All right, let's cut eight inches. Let's see if we could actually just put a straight piece of pipe there. Cause I do have the leverage to lift up. Maybe I don't even need a coupling. Man, this pipe cutter definitely came in handy in that tight spot. I have a pipe cutter that fits that size pipe, but it's so bulky, so bulky. So let's go ahead and give this thing a go. And build this up. Got that piece right there. We're gonna sand down the edges and we're gonna ream the in and out, the inner and outer parts of the pipe. Fit this up. All right, everything's prepped. Let's just push these in. Make sure everything is good. That's in. I just want to see if this fits first. That's in. Luckily we got play on this pipe to lift it. 
Awesome, man. That's a beautiful thing right there. It will be a little, let's see, maybe like this, sideways. And we, we would be able to close. Maybe I should even leave it this way. All right, that perfectly fits in. Oh, that's a beautiful thing, guys. That is a beautiful thing. All right, my press tool will fit in everywhere except for the female pipe adapter. So what I'm gonna do is prep this. All right, that's fully in there. Let's press it. All right, that's pressed. From here, you can take some pipe dope apply it on top of the Teflon tape and then we can spin this in and press the rest. Alright, let's apply that. Some nice fresh paste. And this should help with any leaks. Pretty confident in the press connections. We just gotta get this this main thread right here. Hopefully that doesn't leak was the trickiest spot because of the spacing let's get the on there it's going in real smooth let's try to do this by hand for now and then get the pipe wrench with the smaller pipe wrench so I get the best turns and then try to really snug that thing down. A little bit of leverage, it's incredible with what I'm working with here. You also don't want to go too crazy and break, break this thing. Beaming the way over there. Oh man, honestly, everything is against us right now. This is the main fitting I want good. Got the bigger wrench on it. Look, we're right at the edge, scraping this beam. All we got on there. There's nowhere else to put this. This is like hit or miss. Might be it. It's pretty tight. All right. Let's get this valve on here. Yeah. I should do it. Let's try to do this so we don't break the gasket. All right, that's all the way in there. This pipe. It's lined up. Let's get it in. Okay. Main thing is just making sure we really get this top one in. I know the bottom is in all the way. Yeah, well that looks like it. Looks like it will do. I'm thinking. Why not have the valve facing this way? It'll be easier to get to it in the future. All right. Looks like we're ready to go, guys. Let's press those fittings. And we're in the clear. Okay. Make sure we got a good light. This is straight. Looks like we're in. Okay. Oops. I hate when I press that button a little. Okay. Let's be 
conscious of that. That's lined up. That's all the way in. Hit it. And it is rebuilt, guys. Oh, this tool is amazing. Nice, 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 nice. All right, guys. That is absolutely a beautiful thing. I'm truly hoping that there's no leaks, but honestly, I think it looks pretty good. Threads seem decent. I spun it around pretty decently. Let's just hope everything else holds. But man, that's a beautiful thing. All that from a tiny hole. All right, engineers opening up all the water valves, the pumps are being turned on. Thankfully, I don't see anything yet. No drips, nothing like that. Let's see if we got water at the unit yet. All right, go ahead, open up the top and bottom valves. All right. Crack it open. Oh yeah, there's water there. There's water there. All right, guys, we got pressure building up in this system. I can feel the pipe, it's cold, it's time to turn the chillers back on so they can get some heat in this building, but I'm just so glad that I was able to reuse that Victoria coupling and just thread on a new piece and press the rest. Oh man, we got no leaks, it's been a long time, long time coming. That is a beautiful thing. I don't know why this wall is here, they gotta knock this thing down. Just to even be able to get through here instead of breaking your back, punching over. My head is like up here. Anyways, I think it's time to get rid of all this crazy contraptions. And also, I will consider telling them to knock out this frame and sheetrock. Get that open. But we're pretty much going to wrap it up from here. Alright guys, we did it. We really did it. The saga is over. One thing I noticed is pretty funny. It says Michael Jackson was here. <laughs> oh man, Jumper Man Tech was here and we saved the day. We're gonna wrap up this video from here. Thank you all for joining me. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.